Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to take a crack at uh, cleaning up this ATV carburetor. Um, I am by no means an expert, so as I've said before, as little as I know about building and fixing cars, I may know even less about fixing ATVs, so feel free to chime in in the comments if you've got any advice for me. But uh, all I'm trying to do today is take this thing apart, clean it, and put it back in and see if see where that takes us. Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here goes nothing. Carburetor sits like this. Uh, this little spot down here is where it was leaking gas from. But uh, here's the bowl. I'm gonna take that off, I think, with just these two screws. So these are in there pretty tight, and I don't wanna just strip them, you know, round them out by turning that screwdriver in there. So I'm gonna try something. I picked up a nifty little tool while I was doing my brakes. Uh, it's called an impact screwdriver. So the way this works is it basically you're going to end up hammering on the end of it and as you hammer it twists so it'll apply that pressure and twist at the same time. Never even knew that existed before doing my brakes but that's a handy little tool to break free a screw that's stubborn and you don't want to just keep twisting it and and just stripping out the screw head so that's kind of convenient so i don't know if anything in here is kind of spring loaded or anything so i'm gonna be a little careful about taking this off i don't want stuff jumping out of there or anything Ta -da. so if i get in real close hopefully you can see this is uh so this is the needle i believe this is the float of these two little kind of chambers on the side. Obviously this will be upside, this will be the other way around. It's upside down right now, but as this fills and gasoline fills this little bowl when that cover's on here, I think the action you're looking for is this right here, for that to push up on that needle and it close off the supply of fuel. Hopefully you can see that there. That's, that's all your, that's all that happens there. And that seems to be what isn't occurring right now and would cause this bowl to fill up completely and overflow. So hopefully just a good cleanup will take care of that. If not, I think it's a carb, uh, a carb kit, I believe, which probably just replaces a whole bunch of this stuff just to make sure it's new and clean and not messed up in any way. But uh, maybe if there's nothing wrong with this stuff, maybe just a good cleaning will take care of it. So there's everything all cleaned up. Um, so now for the real test is everything didn't look too bad actually so I don't I don't know what to expect when I put this back together but like I said it's worth a shot um, but now I gotta find out how well I paid attention when I took this all apart and when I took it out of the quad itself so here we go try to put it back together Okay, there's the first hurdle. The bowl put back on. I believe this thing is all on, clean and put together as it was. So now I gotta put it back in the bike. All right, so I think I actually remember where everything goes here, but actually making it go there is a whole nother story. So let's see how we do. That's our choke cable. Here's our throttle cable. This is a little tricky. So this is gonna wrap around and this little screw is gonna go down. Kind of catch it.
That's our throttle cable. There it is. Can we see that? I think we can see that, right? Throttle cable's attached. All right, there's the throttle cable closed up in there. Now, I think I can put the carburetor back where it goes. Two hours later. So, I had to cut away there. The camera actually overheated. But uh, I've got it back in. It took a little, a little work and a little Jimmy and things around, but the carb is back in. Uh, the fuel hoses are connected to it. Uh, the only thing that's not connected back up is the air intake box but I can actually test this without putting those on. But for now, uh, I can actually pour some gas in this and open the fuel line. And the first check, the first moment of truth is, does it just leak right out the bottom in the same place as it did before? If it does, then we've got the same problem and the carb really needs to be rebuilt rather than just cleaned. Um, if it doesn't, then I can move on to the next step of trying to actually run it. So let's get some fuel in it and open it up and see. So here's the spot where it was leaking from before. Uh, actually, the, the shadow of my finger is right pointing at it right now. So I am going to open the fuel line and watch that thing. We're not out of the woods yet, but good sign that is not leaking right now. And I believe before we took this apart, as soon as you poured gas in there, it would leak out the bottom. So again, so the next thing I think I'm gonna do is start it up because you know I could have not sealed well around that bowl when I put it back together or something, so we could still have an issue. See if I can. That's dry. That's uh, that's good. Um, I don't see anything coming out. I don't see any fuel leakings, but I don't. Oh, oh, there's the tiniest drop of fuel there. I think. No, oh, I don't know that I want to reach in there right this moment, but there's a drop hanging there. But I mean, it used to. Before we did the, oh, there. Oh, there it's dropping. It's dropping right now. Okay, I'm gonna close the fuel line. So, it looks like ATV one and Brian zero so far, but uh, I'm not giving up yet. Um, next is to buy a carb kit, I believe, which is a reasonable price, I think maybe 20, 30 bucks. I just gotta find the right one, and uh, we'll take that thing out, take it apart again, replace some pieces, and throw it back in there. So, uh, cross our fingers. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for subscribing and commenting. Uh, keep coming back. I'll spend some time on this project in the next, you know, near future and the carport. So keep on coming back to check out what's going on. Make sure I don't blow anything up. Talk to you later.